Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about the Film Studies option for GCSE. Uh, it's quite a new and exciting GCSE and it allows you to study a range of different perspectives, a range of different cultures uh, in quite great detail. Um, I personally am very passionate about this, uh, particularly the idea of looking at how filmmakers um, manage our perceptions and, and shape our perceptions and students in studying this subject will get the opportunity to see how that actually happens and, and in what ways we are manipulated by filmmakers and in doing so learn how to shape the perceptions of others as well. Um, towards the end of the course they get to create their own script and apply uh, the knowledge that they've, they've picked up for the exam. So yeah, we will look at a range of different uh, different texts, in, in this case films rather than in English where we look at books. Uh, we look at films from across Europe, across America, Asia, Africa, from all over the world. It's a very, very diverse GCSE. Again, very, very exciting. Uh, we will learn a lot together. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really enjoy it. I hope you will too. Okay, I'm just going to take you through the course breakdown and the assessment uh, for the GCSE. So paper one, it looks at key developments in film and US film. So really we take a close look at Hollywood and the origins of film. The three films we watch for this are King Solomon's Mines and Raiders of the Lost Ark, two really big American action films from different eras. We compare those two films and how uh, look at how film has developed from, from, from the 1950s to the 1980s. We then look at a small independent film called Juno and, and consider how that independent or indie as we call it um, production is very different from the major Hollywood productions and they answer questions on these films in the exam. Paper one is worth 35% of their final grade so it's quite a lot. Uh, the paper is an hour and 30 minutes long. It's one tiered entry and there's 70 marks available. For this paper as well, we also look at the history of film. They have to learn a timeline of cinema and different kind of important technological developments. And this is paper two, where again, this is where the real diversity comes into the GCSE, where we look at films from different cultures and different parts of the world. So for the GCSE in year 10, we will look at Let the Right One In, we will look at District 9, we look at Skyfall. Okay, so there's Sweden, South Africa and the United Kingdom there. And we take a different kind of look at each of these films, a different kind of uh, hat on as we watch them. So we let the right one in. We're thinking about character. We're thinking about place. With District 9, we're thinking about history. We're thinking about culture. And with Skyfall, we're thinking about the production value of it. Okay, so each film is watched with, through the, a different lens of the, of the subject. And again, just like with paper one, this is 35% of the final total. It's one exam, an hour and 30 minutes. It's one tiered entry. And again, it is 70 marks, just like paper one. And now we're on to the final component of the course, which is worth 30%. And it is coursework, which is center assessed. So it will be assessed by myself, uh, moderated with help from the English department as well. And then some pieces will be picked to be sent off to the exam for, to kind of moderate. And this is where, I, again, I get very excited about this because students get a chance to create their own film script and they create their own shot list using the skills that they've learned from year nine and year 10. And, and they start to really get, get to grips with how they can manage perceptions and shape the perceptions of their audience. They get to build tension, they get to present a story. Um, and it's just a fantastic, fantastic chance for these students to really spread their wings and, and, and really show the examiner what they've got. So yeah, in this coursework, they need to create characters and a setting that fit the brief provided by the exam, the exam board. They need to create a shot list, which covers a small section of the script and, and, and discuss how that would be presented if it was uh, on, on the screen. They need to consider the sound and music elements they might include. They need to consider the costume and props they might include. So it's quite detailed and again, very exciting because students really get to show off here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really, really uh, fun coursework as far as coursework goes, I think. And just to sum us up, uh, if you're passionate about English literature, if you're good at English literature, film studies is the subject for you. Um, 
the analysis, the evaluation, the creative thinking that are key to the success of your work in English is exactly the key to your success in film studies. And these skills are transferable to any different walk of life. Anything you want to go and do, if it involves analysis, evaluation, being creative, thinking about perception and how perceptions can be shaped. If you want to go into the media, if you want to go into broadcasting, if you want to go into public relations, management, anything like that, um, this GCSE is, is exactly what you need. Um, I've listed a few jobs here as well that are actually from the UK film industry. I mean, it's not necessarily to say that if you do film studies, you will go and work in film. But these are the different career paths that you can take if you do this GCSE. And I've just listed there on the bottom right hand side of the page the results that we got the last time we ran this GCSE. Uh, we're very proud of these results. It was the first time we ran it. Um, and yeah, I think they speak for themselves. So yeah, thank you for listening to that. If you have any other questions about the subject, again, I'm very, very passionate about it. I get very excited talking about it. Um, please email me or, or give the school a ring and ask to speak to Mr. Lawler and I'll walk you through anything that you need, uh, any questions that you need answering. All right. Thanks very much.